Is that star and stuff, or is that just a part of the history? No, nah, that star and shit, bro. If you asking niggas who shot who and all that, was that you shooting on camera? Like, all that shit, bro. Like, that, that, that star and shit, bro. Like, it coming from a white dude, bro. Like, this ain't no motherfucking niggas who ask you this shit in the hood. He got the black, black this, dude on there. Yeah, flunkies. They flunkies, bro. They wouldn't have do anything. And Big Dale had him right there. Yeah, trenches news. But he tried to have him say I was a goofy. I, 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 I was lying and all that shit. But he never said I was lying. He just said, I ain't bring him over there. Okay, Lil B brought you over there. Because that's they block. I, I came to get you with Lil B, but it was on Lil B. I was trusting that Lil B make sure that you straight. You know what I'm saying? And the other, other members who told me that you were straight over here. You know, but he all made it back safe. He made it back safe. Ain't nothing happened to him. He's still alive right now. And... You know, like that. But I always tried to, you know, when I was over there on 63rd and all that shit, bro, anybody will tell you, bro, I never misled them. Yeah. I never misled them, bro. Even if a motherfucker I knew, they was trying to tell her go on ahead. I'd say, hell no, nah, bro. You know, damn well you ain't going on no hit. Like, Mark, you sad. One day, one day sad. They try to get sad to go on some shit. And I see sad looking with his head down. And he come in the crib and stalling. Like he looking for a hoodie or something. Man, I'm telling goof ass niggas you ain't going, bro. You know your mom, Miss Clark, don't play that on everything, bro. Miss Clark don't play that on everything. She don't play that. She ain't raised Marcus like that. You know what I'm saying? So when I told them that, Marcus told them, nah, I ain't going. So yeah, you know, you just gotta, you know, you just gotta try to save who you can save, I guess. No, if for I sure. want to say that, no. I was trying to, you know, whoever I th knew I could get to, I tell everybody the same message, but. If I can't get to you, I'm gonna go to the people who I know ain't like that. Yeah. They stop hanging with him, you know, shit like that. Man, do you um, <clears throat> does it bother you when you see it? Cause you you one of the, the king of the stories when it comes to like Chicago, that South Side for real, like the who's who. Like it's a lot of different documentaries made about these people who you don't actually had like personal relationships with. Does it bother you like when you hear stories about? how they was killed or who they allegedly killed, like come out and it's not, it's not accurate? Online? Like I, I cleaned up a lot of shit. When I came on YouTube, I cleaned up a lot of shit. It was a lot of, they said that Brick them killed, Brick and G.I. Joe killed Big A from Old Block. They didn't, a civilian killed them. The gang members likes to carry, whatever the person want to say, they were civilians. They got likes to carry shit, they civilians to me. You hear me? You could be a gang member with a weapon, though, with likes to carry, but they civilians to me. They got off like civilians. And then with HK, they said McAdoo and them did it. Everybody said McAdoo and them did it. The whole time, I was in a cell with his brother, who died with King Von Slutty. That's my boy. I was in a cell with him. When T-Roy got killed, he came in my cell. When HK would die, he, came, he was in my cell. We were cellies. So he had told me off top that an a, a, a innocent motherfucker killed um. Uh, a dude who stayed in old block them killed him. They shot through the door. Shot through the door on that. Thing. I already knew. So when I got on YouTube, I already had this information. I had all, all this information. So I came in cleaning up shit. I broke half the most of the stories, the big stories, the cash, the fat shawties, the uh, most of the stories, the TPs. The I broke a lot of big stories, man. That's out there. Like man. I broke them. I, I dropped them first. You know what I'm saying? So. You know, I, 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 I did my due diligence, bro. I feed people on YouTube. But but I, I was saying as far as like now, like if you get on a, a platform like a No Jump or a Vlad TV, you know, it's millions of people who watch that. It's different if, it was, it's, if it's a smaller, I guess, YouTube channel who may come across it. But it, a platform like that, when it's a, it's a lot of eyes on it, you know, does that bother you if the information no. ain't true? No, it don't bother me. It, it don't bother me. You know what I'm saying? It don't bother me. But, like, no jumper, I'll never fuck with them again. Like, they chasing. I don't know. You got to, you got to throw that out there. They, they chase clout, bro. They chase clout. They, they asking every motherfucker who in tour with somebody or they bringing up nobodies to ask the nobodies about you. Like, who the fuck the fuck you going to get him from? West Bumblefuck? Like, be honest, bro. Like, some of these dudes, and they getting on there and they lying. You know what I'm talking about? Like, I got receipts for all my shit. Anything I come and say, I got receipts. I got receipts for my shit, everything, you know what I'm saying? Everything that I do, did, if I say I gave you something, if I say I paid them, 
If I say I gave them this amount of, I got receipts because I'm a business. Yeah. No, not, not, not to cut you cut you off, Swipe, since you breaking up no jumper, man. At one point in time, like, where you was head over heels, like, thrill, you was promoting it, you know, on your lives and your videos. Like, man, y'all be on the lookout for my no Yeah, I was promoting it because I was going to go on there and do something different, what I did. I ain't going there and bash nobody. Oh, but what I was going to say, though, after the, uh, in the, in the, the interview performed very well for him, you know, um, and this is in the, like the early stages of all that controversy to us. Well, you know, you know what I mean? Like it wasn't to the point where you actually had got on the stand and all of that, you know. Um, but after the fact, man, it seemed like you did like a 180 and you was like bashing no jumper. Like what went wrong with that whole? No, nah, bro, they, they shit starting, bro. They bringing everybody up from Chicago and starting shit, bro. He disrespecting Mama Duck them, bro. Like it, it, it shit, every, everything is something, bro. On everything, bro. It's something with them, bro. And then you got Adam pulling the strings, bro. And these black dudes who are around them, bro, they look like flunkies, bro. Like some shit we ain't gonna even play with or do, bro. You don't play with nobody mama, bro. That's just first of all. You know what I'm saying? You don't ask nobody mama certain shit or none of that, bro. You treat them with respect. You hear me? Like for real, bro. But, you know, it's the internet, though. You know, I just, it's just my decision, bro. Like I ain't telling everybody else y'all can fly out there for free and, and, and tell y'all sold away for, for no money or none of that. It's just, I ain't, I ain't gonna do it. If I do go back on no jump, I need 20. I need 10 to 20,000, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. I can could, I could, I, I could stay on my page, but what, get all the money. No, nah, I feel you as far as like, I guess that he asked the inappropriate question, asked Mama Duck. It's just, it's just that he used, he fueled and shit in Chicago, bro. Everybody get on that. Old Block get on that. He asked Young Money about them. He asked them about them. He asked THF about they ops. Like, bro, like, that's just starting shit, bro. Is that starting stuff or is that just a part of the history? No, nah, that's starting shit, bro. If you asking niggas who shot who and all that, was that you shooting on camera? Like, all that shit, bro. Like, that, that, that's starting shit, bro. Like, it coming from a white dude, bro. Like, this ain't no motherfucking niggas who asking you this shit in the hood. He got the black, black this, dude on there. Yeah, flunkies. They flunkies, bro. They wouldn't do anything. Would you let the man sit across you and ask you to send him a pic of your penis? Like for real, bro. Like, like for real, bro. Like some shit join, some shit ain't no, ain't no money going. You not finna tell. If he would have told me that, bro, I would have took his camera and whacked him with it. Like for real, bro. I would have busted shit with that camera, bro. If he would have told me to send him a pic of my, uh, uh, something like that, bro. Or he shit, told J Man. J Man. Yeah, I don't play that shit, bro. Like that's that's just like far out, bro. And then a lot of shit when I be saying it, like. The, the, like with Cali, not just Chicago. He getting the Cali niggas into it and he in the background watching this shit happen, bro. Like I, I'm paying attention to it like the devil, bro. That's what the devil do. Play, play the puppets and shit and sit in the background, bro. And watch everybody else crash out. Ain't nobody gonna go to jail from no jumper but them. If they pull up. Niggas talking about pulling up to no jumper now. I done seen a whole bunch of crips. Nigga, we, we outside, cuz. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, bro. That shit getting dangerous. For real, that shit getting dangerous, bro. And before you know it, if they, they, they pulling up and talking right now. But just for them to pull up, that's, that's the next step from talking on the phone. You know, so eventually it's going to be a fucking crime, bro. On that thing, eventually somebody going to shoot. They be playing on that, bro. They play. It ain't about me, bro. It's, it's about the play I see, bro. When I see shit like that, bro, like I don't, I don't get involved with that, bro. Like every motherfucker come on there, he asked them about me, bro. Kids, kids, bro, that I told them, DQ them kids, bro, you know how old I am, I'm, I'm damn near, I got DQ them by at least about 13 years, 14 years, bro. That's the dude you say, you used to stay with him and his sister? No, no, hell oh, no, nah, bro, hell no, nah. dude ain't never stay with, dude lied, bro, he ain't never stay with me, bro, I ain't never had no nigga stay with me and my bitch, bro, never, any girl I have, bro, ain't no nigga standing in the crib with us, brother or not, bro, like I done did too much shit robbing. You could backdoor me, all that shit, bro. I done been shot in my head and there. Ain't no nigga ever live with me, bro. Ain't no crib, bro. Only, only time that I stayed in the crib with somebody was me and Lil Mark on that thing. Me and 112. That's slutty. Slutty. Me and Slutty stayed in the crib, bro. We stayed in the crib together. That was the only person who I ever stayed in the crib with was Slutty. He was on house arrest. That's how he came to stay in the crib because he needed somewhere to go. So the dude that was on no jump? Nah, bro. A bomb. That motherfucker struck my page, 53 strikes, bro. Like, for real, bro. But he, 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 he was telling the truth as far as, like, knowing you, though. Like he Man, I messed with his sister for six months, bro. Six months, bro. 
That ain't knowing no motherfucker. That ain't no motherfucking brother. That ain't nobody you call a brother, bro. A brother is a nigga you know for years, bro. After I fucked this sister, I ain't seen that man since then to YouTube. Like, for real, bro. I ain't seen him since YouTube. Since 2011, I ain't seen him until I try to reach out to him for his camera on YouTube. On some real shit, bro. On God. I seen, the last time I seen that man was 2010. I ain't seen him since 20, 2010, bro. On that thing. And to now, till I, got out, till I got on YouTube, bro. How long is that? Yeah, that's over a decade for sure. That's 11 years I ain't seen him. Yeah. Over there, ain't my motherfucking brother niggas out getting on there trying to craft both of them bombs on that thing, bro. Like for real, I got cash shops, I got receipts on that thing, bro. We fell out. Hey, look, you know, I can't respect no man. I respect you if you got on my channel when you first got on my channel and called me a goofy, a lame, and said all this shit. He was my sister and all this shit. Why would you walk around with me downtown and doing interviews and recording for me if I did that shit to your sister? You, you going to do that for a nigga who did that, what he oh, said? No, no, no. That, that's what I'm saying, bro. That's why, that's when I say, that's why I don't address shit, bro, because you got to make it make sense. You know what I'm talking about? Like, you got to make enough sense. When you can't make up nothing, you got to lie. When you ain't got nothing, you got to lie. You hear me? Like, what type? I'm not hanging with nobody who touched my sister, bro. On that thing. All oh, that shit he whooped my sister, took from my kids, and you gonna hang with me and I did this shit to your to, to uh, Leslie. I supposed to did this shit and you and you around shooting videos. Man, I got a video right now. Swipe the realest nigga, bro. You hear me? Swipe the swipe the realest nigga. Swipe the realest dude. I got a video of him saying this shit, bro. Both of them. The same dude that was bashing same me. Same dudes bashing me, bro. On my mama, bro. That's why I ain't got my heart of the trenches in there. Cause they struck my page, bro. Cause I wanted my content and I kicked them. Y'all can't get on my platform no more then. Cause I handle business. This at the time when I was getting business minded with my YouTube show. I'm spending my money on businesses and stores and barbershops. And I'm like, um, I'm like, shit, this a business now. So when he lost my footage and I came back from Florida, I'm like, shit. You know, where my footage at? Oh, it's gone. He could record it over. Nah, I don't want it over, bro. I'm gonna get me a new cameraman. I'm done with y'all. And that's how I started, bro. That's how I started, bro. That's like, with him and the dude. That's how I started, it? man. Hey, hey, look, man. And then a lot of people are always talking about, like, like they, they, they piss me off, bro. They can always bring up. They can always remember. Like, they talk about the past. He ain't hide nothing, or he ain't hide nothing. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they talk. They talk about, you know what I'm saying, the wrong shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like. They be like, um, they talk about shit from, you know, when everybody was fucked up the days and shit like that, bro. But, like, I'm winning now. What y'all, what motion do y'all, it don't fuck about what happened then. Who cares about then? You know what I'm talking about? Who cares about who had it then or who had a million dollars then? <laughs> it's what you got now that counts, right? Hey, then we ain't got nothing to talk about with them, homie. So you can no, switch the conversation. For sure, for sure, man. Uh, with uh, the uh, the, the, the transition, man. So and humble soul. This is what nigga make every month. Man. Every month, you hear me? That's crazy. Even the bill six thousand. Nigga still got a what? Man, that's crazy. You hear me? Dog. Like for yeah. real, bro. Yeah. Like like for real, bro. That's why I don't even respond to these guys, bro. Man. When you making that a month, just off that, this just off this. Not the cash app. What about the, uh, this ain't the cash yeah. app? This ain't the this ain't the book. You got business. This ain't the yeah. businesses. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, how can I complain about somebody who losing? I mean, how why would I respond to somebody who ain't got shit and that's trying to get something off me, off my name, and I'm making all this?